Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Home Tastic by Rizwana. It's been a while since we have seen any kitchen decoration or kitchen organization ideas on my channel. So today I'm going to reorganize my kitchen countertop and show you how to arrange or organize your countertop from scratch. So I have cleared off everything on my uh, countertop and I've removed the sticker also for a change. So this is how it's looking right now. So first I'll quickly wipe out the dirt and grease on this countertop. I have removed everything so that I can show you how to organize your countertop from the scratch because I've been receiving so many messages and pictures from uh, many of my subscribers who have been asking me some ideas and suggestions to organize their kitchen or their countertop. So I thought that this video might help those people who are in need of this type of videos and ideas to organize their kitchen. So here as usual this is my favorite white color metal stand. I have uh, washed it and I am just wiping out all the water. Normally our kitchen containers get greasy and oily over the time right but we might not be able to wash it every now and then because we will have stuff inside it and if we want to wash it it takes a lot of time to remove dry it and then fill it back. So as a hack what I do is I spray this liquid degreaser on a wipe and then I wipe out all the dirt from the containers like this to keep my kitchen sparkling and clean. So if we follow this at least once in a week, lot of oil or dirt will not accumulate on the containers and it will look very clean and sparkling. Likewise I have cleaned all the containers and wiped off with a dry cloth. This time I have purchased a few new things for my kitchen, especially for my countertop. Let me show you what are those. As I always want to have same type of containers in my kitchen, this time I got these cute mini pop-up jars which are matching with the big ones. These are from Amazon and its cost is 2.99 rupees. Here I'm filling the new containers. To keep the items like mustard, zira and all, we need too many containers, right? Obviously. I'm really in love with these cute mini containers. Now let's arrange all these jars in the white stand. As always, I'll put these big jars here because I want these to be handy as I keep all the spices in these. And in the bottom shelf, I'll put all the small containers. Let's put this white stand aside for now and I've got another cute stand for my kitchen. This is a new add-on to my kitchen really. And this one is for 700 rupees I guess. It's from Amazon and it comes with a glass plate also to put it in the bottom shelf. First I thought of putting all the small containers in the bottom shelf but I couldn't accommodate everything there. So I kept all these small containers in the other rack. Really these two white stands are looking so elegant in the kitchen and they can save lot of space and accommodate many things in it. Now let's make some quick DIYs to decorate our countertop. So first one is going to be a uh, decorative for my tea station. So I had this white color chopping board which we are not using now. So I thought of making a small decorative for my tea station using this. This is the first time I am going to try a decoupage technique here. Not sure how it is going to turn out. First I am painting this white board with sky blue color. And next I got this decoupage paper napkins from Amazon and it will have three layers you have to remove carefully. This paper will be very thin so you have to be a little careful. Once you remove all the layers, just dab some water around the design whatever you want to cut, then tear it off carefully. Now you have the design with you, you can stick it wherever you want. So I will be attaching it on this chopping board using glue. We have to apply one more layer of glue on top of it. Likewise, I have attached these roses on all the sides of this chopping board. Actually, this is the first time I am doing this. If there are any mistakes, do let me know in the comments. I will try to improve and learn. I have seen different types of kitchens uh, which have been shared by my subscribers on Instagram. What I suggest to you is no matter how much space you have in your kitchen, try to put more racks and shelves so that lot of utensils and containers go into that. And on the countertop, if you have small space, just try to make a tea corner. It looks very stylish, you know. So this one is almost done. I am just protecting it with varnish as a final step. Moving on to our next DIY. I purchased this MDF tray from Amazon for around 200 rupees. There are two reasons for purchasing this kind of tray. Uh, the first is we are getting it for very less price. I mean the wooden tray for a very less price. And the second is we can paint it with whatever color or design we want. 
सो आई हैव चोजन डार्क ब्लू फॉर द इनर सर्फेस एंड येलो फॉर द आउटर सर्फेस I have chosen dark color for the inner surface because it will hide the dirt as I'll be placing the oil dispensers and salt containers in this tray. This particular color combination looks really beautiful. And finally I got a perfect sized tray for my cooking station. So in 200 or 250 rupees including the colors and all, we have made a beautiful wooden tray. Isn't it a budget friendly and a beautiful idea? So to make it little more attractive, I am just making a simple flower design on this. If you are an artist you can make more attractive and beautiful designs on it and use it as a tray for serving purpose also. Here I am making a very simple design because I am going to use this for a cooking station so anyways that design will not be visible. So these kind of simple acts will make your kitchen or any space very beautiful guys. You need not to spend too much money also. I am just giving a second coating of yellow color. This tray is almost ready. After it is completely dry, I'll apply varnish on this. Moving on to our next DIY. Here I'm just mixing green and yellow to make some bright green color. These are very simple things that you can do guys for your kitchen. So I had this old jug which is uh, already damaged and we are not using it anymore. So I wanted to make a utensil holder out of it. So for that I am just painting it with this uh, bright green color and those utensil holders with fork and spoon designs are very common to give a country kitchen type of look just make this kind of utensil holder also just try it out and see how it looks trying out new things is good and you will feel very satisfied when you see your handmade items in your home so i am just using this stencil and dabbing some paint on this and now carefully remove the stencil and this is not bad when you take the paint on the sponge make sure to squeeze out the extra paint otherwise it will spread all over the stencil and once it is completely dry apply varnish on it to make it water resistant and you might have doubts like can we wash it yes we can wash it under running water but we cannot scrub it and for the next DIY i have taken this cute medicine bottle i'll be using it as a small planter in my kitchen It's very easy guys you just need some empty bottle and a paint paint it with whatever color you want Here I have chosen blue color because I'll be putting this in my cooking station tray and the tray color is also blue right And on top of it I am just making simple flowers to make it little more attractive So whatever DIYs I'm showing you today are really easy guys and whoever is interested in making DIYs I want you to uh, make these kind of things in your kitchen and see how it has changed the look of your kitchen and also saved your space and time If you really liked it and tried this for your kitchen do share me the pictures on Instagram We are done with our DIYs now let's go back to our arrangement and for my kitchen finally I got these beautiful sugar coffee tea containers which i always wanted to have and the yellow ones are my old containers guys i'll remove the paint and i'll definitely reuse it when i change the look again if you are wondering why we need to change the look of any space means it really uh, makes you feel very refreshed once you try it you will understand and i always try to come up with new ideas to make any space look beautiful and also to save the space or create more space Whatever I am showing you I always keep in mind that it should be helpful for everyone. So I have kept these tea coffee sugar containers in this white stand and behind these I'll put my DIY. Always try to make a corner or a stand little decorated and also make sure that the decoration is little functional as well. So to decorate this stand I am using these pineapple jars and I'll put dry fruits in these. especially in the kitchen don't add too many things just for the sake of decoration make sure that it is little bit functional as well i got these pineapple jars for 50 rupees each from a local exhibition so whenever you are shopping for your kitchen just buy these kind of decorative jars so that you don't need any separate decorative items now let's make a cooking station so whatever you need while cooking just group it together and put it in a tray and place that tray right next to the stove In this tray I have placed a transparent sheet to protect it from any oil or dirt and in this tray as always I have kept my salt and rock salt jars pestle mortar oil dispenser and also a sprinkler and this cute planter which I have made 
so when you group the things together and put it in trays like this it will be very easy for you and also handy I'm really in love with my cooking station because I really liked that tray, the jars, everything is complementing each other. Do let me know how do you like this cooking station in the comments. So moving on to the other corner, here I have this metal stand and next to that I got one more thing from Amazon that is this cup holder. This is the best purchase I have made as it is a 12 cup holder and we can make the best use of vertical space. And here comes my DIY utensil holder. I'll put this one here and in this stand I'll put this beautiful apple jar and this side I'll put my chopping board and a cutlery holder and one more suggestion if you have any broken cups use it to put a plant in it. Now it's time to have a final look hope you all will like it. So this is my kitchen guy this is how I have organized everything. Starting from this corner, this is my shink area where I have kept a basket with the soaps, liquids and all and this side I have my chopping board, cutlery holder, cup holder, my lunch boxes and next to that I have a white metal stand with all the spice containers. And moving ahead here I have my beautiful utensil holder and here comes my tea station. This particular section is really my favorite one on this countertop. And next to that I have my cooking station which is looking so beautiful and vibrant. So I have an oil dispenser, knife holder, that's a DIY knife holder which I have already made and posted on my channel. And here I have my salt and rock salt jars and my cute planter. So this is how it looks from this side and here I have my stove and on the right hand side of the stove we will have this rice cooker and grinder which are constant there and I have arranged all the groceries in these shelves and under this countertop I had already shown you this is how I have organized all the utensils in the baskets as I don't have cabinets. And after filling the containers, whatever is left over, I seal those packets and I put it in this box. This box has been very helpful for me. So all the groceries will be there in this so that I need not to search. I purchased this box for around 1200 from Spar. This will be very useful for those who don't have cupboards or cabinets. So this is my overall kitchen guys. This is how I have arranged all the things here on the countertop, in the shelves, in the shink area. Hope you liked today's video and found it useful. If you have really liked it, I request you to press the like button. And also one more request guys, whatever you have liked in today's video, like which section you liked most, do let me know in the comment section. And also if you are new to my channel, do consider subscribing to my channel as I will be coming up with realistic home decor, home makeover videos every week. That's all for today friends. Let's meet in the next video. Until then, bye bye and take care.